My mate Danny Van is here to show us that Rocky Road can be quite healthy. I don't believe you. It's true. <laughs> and it's delicious as well. No, it does look healthy. Look at all these beautiful dried fruits, nuts. Um, what's this here? I've got some hazelnut butter here. Mm, yeah, so this is kind of like my chalk hazelnut, healthy rocky road fudge thing. I love it. I think it's so nice to have a little treat in the fridge where you just don't feel so guilty about eating it. All right, so we've got some coconut oil that okay. we've just gently melted in there. Yeah, into uh, the bowl. Into the bowl, thank you. Yeah, so you can always tell the temperature with coconut oil. If it's uh, if it's a cold day, it's going to be really hard. So I like to melt it on there. And then once we set this in the fridge, it's going to harden up and become nice and fudgy. So I'm going to make the fudge. Yes. Would you mind chopping up some hazelnuts for me? Absolutely. So hazelnuts, these have been roasted and we've taken off the skins. So just chop those up for me. They're really yummy. I love crunchy, bit oh. of crunch in there. And I'm going to use some pure maple syrup. Okay. So about half a cup. I'm a shocker for not measuring ingredients. So. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it always seems to work though. <laughs> but with this kind of recipe, you know, you don't have to be too hardcore. No. Um, and you can swap out maple syrup as well for something like a rice syrup or an agave if you like as well. Yep. Um, and then I've got some cacao powder. Mmm, chocolate and hazelnut. Yeah, yum, Best yum, yum. Mates. So I'm just going to whisk that all in. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at that. Rich colour. Yeah, beautiful. And so if you are using a raw cacao powder as well, mm. there actually is lots of like antioxidants and stuff in there. So we are, we're being healthy. Chocolate well, can be healthy. I think a lot of us <laughs> do want um, some inspiration when it comes to snacks or little treats. But this, you kind of won't feel guilty having this, especially when you make it yourself as a sense of achievement. Um, yeah, that's right. And it's, it's really yummy. It's so good. And I love, oh, I just love nut butters. Well, let's talk about nut butters. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't find hazelnut butter, what are mm -hmm. a few substitutes that you can get that are readily available, um, even at the supermarket? Yeah, there's some really great nut butters out there mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, you can find uh, alternative chalk hazelnut spread that's kind of like a healthy Nutella. Yep. You could even go something like a, an almond butter or an nice. ABC butter. Yep, nice one. So this is our fudge. You can see it's nice and glossy and smooth. Yep. And we need to pimp this up a little bit. <laughs> I like those words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got some goji berries. I'm going to just take out a little bit of each ingredient just so that we can garnish our Rocky Road fudge, make it look pretty at the end. Nice. So some goji berries. I really love making dishes nice and colourful. So for this, I've chosen some ingredients that are a little bit festive. Yep. Goji berries. Mm -hmm. I've got some dried cranberries. Now, these are the chewy element that you might find in, say, a traditional rocky road. Yep. And I've also got some pepitas as well. Yep. Now, these are just pumpkin seeds. You can find these roasted as mm -hmm. well. So yep. you can use them raw or roasted. Either will work. And you can sub it out to so many different dried fruits that you can use, so many exactly. different nuts and seeds. You can play around with it. Yeah. You know, I'm a big fan for substituting with whatever you have in your pantry. So we've got some coconut in there. You could use desiccated coconut. You could use coconut flakes. And then, of course, we've got our yummy hazelnuts. And that's it, really? That's it. it. Like, we're just going to mix that all together. It smells so good. And you've got uh, just a tin there, 20 by 20 centimetres. I see that you've lined it with some baking paper. Mm hmm it's going to make it much easier. Much easier, exactly. Yep. So line your baking tray and yep. then really simply we're just going to pour this in. You can see that mm. yummy, fudgy goodness. <laughs> and there's just so much texture and flavour coming out with every bite of this. So good. Don't scrape that bowl too much because I'll need to lick that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to sprinkle over the extra nuts, seeds and dried fruit that we have. And then does this stay on the bench or do we have to put it in the fridge? Definitely in the fridge. In the fridge. So we want, to, we want to set that. And what I was saying earlier about coconut oil, when it gets cold, under 26 degrees generally it hardens up, but yep. obviously in the fridge it's going to harden to the point where we can slice it. So yep. that's what we want. All right, great. We'll pop the little garnish on and into the fridge. Yum. Up really nicely, just slip it out of the baking tray, chop it up. Nice. 
Yes, you can see why you need that baking paper. It just makes it seamless to come out. Totally. It's true, you do want to give it a bit of time. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. A bit of time for that coconut to solidify and then you've got that crunchy rocky yeah. road. But you can, you can keep this at room temperature, so it's not going to just like melt no. really yeah. quickly. But if it is a really hot day, obviously yeah. pop it in the fridge. Yeah. This would be a really great gift too. It like is. Saying, it's yeah. quite festive at Christmas. Putting them in little bags and, and giving them out to your family and friends would be really nice. I love that idea. That's great. Might put some on the this. plate. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yum. Are you going to try it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you should know me by now, Danny. I'll never say no to something as delicious as this. Mm. All right. I might join you then. Chin chin. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> mm. That's good. Yep. I have missed mm. you. <laughs> <laughs>